ज्ञानतमीरांधस्या ज्ञानंजनसलाकया चक्षुरुन्मिलितंजेन तस्मै सिद्धुरवे बंचाकल्पतरुभ्यस्य कृपाशिंधुभ्यीवच पतितानाम पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो महाबद्धन्याया कृष्णा प्रेम प्रदाज्यते कृष्णा या कृष्णा चैतन्य नामने गौरक्षे गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाये तदाले कृष्णा या कृष्णा भक्ताय तदभक्ताय यं प्राप्रजन्तमनुपेतमपेतकृत्यं द्वैपायनो विरहकातर्याजुहावक्तायकिरेमायत्यातर्वोभिनेदु तंसर्वभोतरिदयम् मुनिमानुस्मि तवैवास्मि तवैवास्मि नजिवामित्वयादिना इति बिक्यराधे तन्ने माम सर्वन्ते फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल माय मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ़ जंडोत प्रणाम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ़ माय परमाराध्यतम गुरु पाप पद्मनित्य लीला प्रविष्टों विष्णु पासी समर भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सर्वस्वामी नाम and same millions of dandot pranam in the lotus feet of my shiksha guru. Nitya lila praveshtong vishnu pasishma bhakti vedanta swami maharaj. We, for five days, today is six days, Explaining the teaching of Krishna, that is called Uddhav Shambhad. And I think that this grand festival is very much successful. In so I pray Krishna to sprinkle his mercies, to Nirgun Prabhu, his family, Shaman Kumar, and others, Nanda Gopal, his family also, and they will tell the names, they will announce the names. So, so much thanks to them to make this festival successful. Especially kitchen room, those who are cooking. I think you will keep the instructions of Krishna, which were told to Uddha, in your heart, and try to follow these instructions, teachings. I think they are very, very valuable. So, something more is to explain. Oh, he wanted to explain yesterday, but no time. Now he can explain. Oh, 
द्वारकापुरी That time, so Uddhav also there are Arjun and Maitreya Rishi. They sit there because at last Sri Krishna spoke to Maitreya Rishi, "Please, you can tell to Bidur. So see, he is my devotee, and always wait him for me, so you can speak to him." And Sri Krishna told to Arjun, "Oh, my dear Arjun, after seven days, so oceans, so flooding, and all Dwarka Puri going down. So before you should take all who is there and who wants to go from the earth, then take them." But and, are you so explain karma yoga, bhakti yoga, uh, yeah. karma yoga, gyan yoga, bhakti yoga? It will come after, but in the end. And there are so many things to explain. So, yesterday we hear when Sri Krishna spoke to Uddhava. Oh Uddhava, Sadhu has so many qualities. Anyone Sadhu, Sadhu's life leave him. They are taking shelter me, and there are great Sadhu who left all religions and. Taking shelter me, serve him me, doing bhajan sadhan, so they are great person sadhus. After then towards devotee's life, and they are most important premik. So all premik, so guru dev many times so always explaining these things like Hanuman, Pandavas, and Uddha, they are premik, but they are. More highest premik, Braj Gopis. Then Sri Krishna told, without sadhu associations, bhakti never come in our heart. So sadhu associations is most important things. Satsange na hi dayi te ya jatu dhana khagam briga. Then Sri Krishna told to Uddha, O oh Uddha, na sadhayate maam yogu. न संखम धर्म उद्धव न श्रद्धाय तपस्त्यागो जथा भक्ति ममोर्जिता एनी वन दे कैन नॉट कंट्रोल मी बाय द योग मेडिटेशंस एनी संख योग एनी अदर अदर योग आज विदाउट भक्ति दे कैन नॉट कंट्रोल मी सो आई एम कंट्रोल बाय द भक्ति प्योर भक्ति मूड And this bhakti comes in by sadhu associations. Without sadhu association, anyone cannot come near me. So previous life and this time also everyone comes in only one sadhu associations. Then Sri Krishna gave so big list. Big chart. There are Sri Krishna spoke sat sange na hi dayi te ya. जातु धाना खगा मृगा गंधर्वा अफसर सो नागा सिद्ध चारण गुजका विद्याधरा मनुष्य शुद्र स्त्री अंत व्याधपर्वा बलिर्वाण मयश्चाथ विभीषण सुग्रीवो हनुमान रिक्ष जाम्बवाण अथ बनी पथ ते नाधित श्रुति गण व्याध कुब्जा ब्रजे गोप्या जज्ञ पत्न तथा परे 
તે નાધિત સ્તુતિ ગણા નોપાસિત મહત્વ અપ્રતા તપ્ત તપ સત્સંગાર માં ઉપાગતા ઓનલી સાધુ સંઘ સાધુ એસોસિએશન સો પ્રીવિયસ લાઈફ સો મેની પર્સન નોટ ઓનલી હ્યુમન બીંગ એની ડેમોનિક લાઈફ એન્ડ સો સત્સંગે ન હી દૈતિયા દૈત દાન ઓફ ડેમોન્સ દૈતિયા જાતુ ધાન રાક્ષસ ખગ મૃગ પક્ષી બાર્સ એન્ડ ડિયર ખગા મૃગા ગંધર્વ અપ્સરા નાગ સિદ્ધ ચારણ ગુયગ વિદ્યાધર મનુષ્ય શુદ્ર સ્ત્રી અંત સો એવરીવન they came only by sadhu associates so bad kubja praje gopya one hunter and kubja praje gopis so everyone can previous like they got sadhu associations in this way they got bhakti pure bhakti then they came so they nadita shruti gana they never read ved shastra nadita shruti gana no pasid mahatma નો ગ્રેટ અસ્ટરિટીઝ નાધિત શ્રુતિ ગણા નો પાસિત મહત્વ અપ્રતા તપ તપસ દે આર નોટ ડુઈંગ સો મચ ફાસ્ટ ફાસ્ટિંગ બટ સત્સંગાર માં ઉપાયતા ઓનલી સાધુ એસોસિએશન દે કેન નિયમ બી દેર આર સાધુ નોટ ઓનલી વન નોટ સેમ એવરી વન દેર આર સો ડિફરન્ટ કેટેગરી સાધુ વેન they got sadhu association same sadhu association then their mood come a following one swajati as a snik the sadhu association and rasik devotees associations then their mood come in. so they are sri krishna spoke oh my dear uddhav i know ramin sardham madhuram praniti સફલ કિના મય અનુરક્ત ચિત્ત હેન આઈ ઓન વિથ બલરામ વિથ બલરામ હેન આઈ ઓન વિથ સફલ કી અક્રુર ચેરિયટ ઇન મથુરા દેન મય અનુરક્ત ચિત્ત માય ડિયર બ્રજ ગોપી દે હેવ પ્યોર લવ એન્ડ એફેશન દેન in the separation mood they never seen not the drishu sukhaya in their life any happiness never seen always they have absorbed mood separation mood always waiting for me so i never forget them so i send you you had seen in prajo bhumi how much they are great mood you have experience so you know so i am telling you jatha samadho munai abdhito ye muni rishi sadhu they are sitting nirvikalpa samadhi they forgot all things or rivers going to ocean mixing they never seen any other things so only me my happiness so praj gopi ji mood is only one mood but well, the if you want then you can take all things tasmat tam uddhav usriya nodanam pratinodanam jahi sarvato bhavina sharanam gach so any kind so many religion so many many rules and regulation so many watching but you left all things only you must follow to brajagopi's mood they are fit dust then your life will be successful after then so you can go there and you can take their fit dust then will be happy sri krishna spoke to uddhav oh uddhav you are my great devotee i never think my brother shankar sir Sri Lakshmi Devi and Lord Shiva and Brahma but you are my great devotee I like you so I love you so you must follow these things before I spoke to Arjun Yoga Astrayo Maya Prokta Niram Shreo Vidhit Saya Gyanam Karma Bhakti Sya Nupayo Anya Asti Kutra Jeet so I spoke three processes કર્મયોગ 
ज्ञान योग एंड भक्ति योग ओनली थ्री योग देयर आर व्हेन कर्म योग दे आर फॉलोइंग टू भक्ति योग ज्ञान इज दे आर फॉलोइंग टू भक्ति योग देन एवरीवन विल बी हैप्पी एंड देयर लाइफ विल बी सक्सेसफुल सो इन दिस वे सो आई स्पोक दिस थिंग्स तावत कर्माणि कुर्वी त न निर्विद्ये जावता मत कथा श्रवणाद बस श्रद्धा जावन न जायते नो फेथफुल मूड इन माय कथा एंड तावत then you should anyone they must do karma no nirvitte di avata no renunciation mood not coming or faithful mood not coming not tasting my katha then they are doing work but when have this mood then let all things follow this katha then will be happy anyone no nirvet no not so much renunciation and not so much attachment in family life and material happiness then their bhakti yog will be okay so in this way shri krishna spoke to uddhav oh my dear uddhav you must follow this things vanjha kulu to vanse to baal sundar bhai vachan katha aham baat in the last time Also, Uddhav asked Krishna, "I want to know, Badha Ji, Mukta Ji, Nitya Mukta Ji. So please explain." And then Krishna began to tell, "Oh, <coughs> there are three kinds of souls, jivas." nitya mukt always engaged in the service of transcendental krishna there braj bhai kun thank you sir they are nitya mukt and they are separate from krishna from god not one they have some quality like krishna but not all the qualities and that quality in very small quantity <coughs> and the nitya baddha jeev not baddha jeev it has been told by word nitya baddha but it should be anadi baddha you should know anadi baddha no time when they were separated from krishna and in is illusory maya <coughs> so they are anadi baddha but it means not that they will not be liberated they must be liberated by sadhu sang as he told hmm? sadhu sang guru karan and thus nishtha ruchi asakti in this way <coughs> so baddha ji are of so many kind according to their sadha <coughs> baddha ji uh, and super soul krishna parmatma living on a briksh tree in the branch both one is testing what he has done bad good activities and second not taking all these things he is only shakshi witness only and this is also difference between jeev and parmatma <laughs> also sila bhakti vinod thakur has told baddha ji of so many kinds अनावृत चेतन फुल्ली अनावृत चेतन लाइक ट्रीज क्रीपर्स एंड ऑल अदर स्टोन स्टोन हैज ऑल्सो लाइफ हिमालय माउंटेन एंड अदर माउंटेन्स सो दीज आर अच्छा दीज कवर्ड फुल्ली दे आर 
Chetanta is not seen. There Chetanta consciousness. And they cannot move. They cannot express their idea. If two rain or anyone cutting, they have nothing to do. They will not run away and, and protect. <laughs> and in some small quantity developed, they are called Sankuchit Chetan. They are covered, mostly covered, something left. Not hundred percent. Like seventy-five or more than that, they are covered. And Muklit Chetan, they are still covered by Maya. But uh, uh, and who are they? They are human. But who? In what kind of human? Like uh, African or African. Those who are not civilized. They are like they are like animals. But anyhow, they are more superior than them. And then, Vikasit, Chetan. Vikasit Chetan means, now they have some knowledge. Uh, and more Purna Vikasit, that is Bhakta. Jnani and others, Jogi, Karmi, they are like Vikasit. But for big seat is there. There is that category of Baddha Jeeva. Uh, last one, very soon, by the association of Rasik and Tattagya Vaishnava, they will achieve Prem, which is the goal of our life. <coughs> Krishna told, Oh, if you want really to serve me, then Sabda Brahmani Nishnato Na Nishnayat Pare Jadi Samastasya Samaphalo Hi Adune Mi Varakshita. Go to Sadhu or Guru, Sabda Brahmani Nishnato. If anyone is quite what? Expert. Expert. In scripture. In scripture, Bered Upanishad, Bhagavad Gita and others. He may be expert, but not a realization of Supreme Lord Krishna. That Guru cannot do anything. He cannot help. Hmm? To go there, in their lotus feet and make them guru is like if a cow not giving milk and you are you want to milk how you can have you cannot so you should see those who are rasik tattvagya and also merciful fajati asnigdha asa vaishnav and he told <coughs> like Cow without giving milk, baby charani is three. Hmm? Bad character ladies, paradhin sarir, a body which is others. Hmm? Like anyone serving here and there, they are not free, they cannot do anything. And Dusta Putra, wicked son. And the money which is not given to Satpatra, Vaishnav, and other qualified person. And <coughs> any Bani, 
speech. Speech. Which is not related to my glorification. They are all bogus. bogus. You should be careful. Mm -hmm. Then he told <coughs> 26 kinds of qualities of Shanta. In this, 25 are Anga, limbs, and one Krishnaika Sharan is Angi, root of all. If one is there, not there, Krishna Saranagati, they may be to others and they may be called Santa, but not Bhakta or Vaishnava. If Bhakti is there, other qualities are there or not, no harm. They are bound to come. <coughs> then he told, that what he was explaining. Karma Jog, Gyan Jog, Bhakti Jog. Only three uh, process. Begin from Karma Jog and then come to Gyan Jog, meaning knowledge. Who is Krishna? What is Maya? What is world Maya Tattva? What is your Rasatattva? All you should know. And then Bhakti Jog. If Bhakti Jog, then Bhakti Jog means here Krishna Prem. Highest is Gopi Prem. Among them, Radha, love and affection to Krishna, Madan Akhba of Shukri. So the Radha Dasyam is supreme goal of life you should all know. But practice from Upadesha Amrita, Mana Shiksha, daily do, meditate your Guru Mantra, what Guru Dev has done. One point, don't forget it, don't think it useless. Also, don't think Upadesha Amrit, first, second, third, fourth slopes. Useless. Without this, you cannot come in bhakti process. So, you must follow all these things. Krishna told, Ayu harati bai punsan uddan astant janna sahu. Oh, son. He is taking our life one second by one second by one second and thus day and night, then years and years, oh, very soon. But those who are practicing bhakti job, some cannot take their argue. They will be, oh, they will be Ajar Amar, immortal, very soon, and they will serve Krishna. Nedeham Adyam Sulabham Sudurlabham Plam Sukalpam Guru Karnadharam Mayanu Kullen Navasvate Ritam Bhavadindya Oh, Krishna is very merciful. He has given this body. Like a very a strong boat, and mercifully Krishna has given a captain, guru, very tattvata rasik, braja rasa rasik, hmm? and ankul bayu, favorable wind, what? Sadhu sangha, very rare, very rare. Hmm? But if anyhow, Krishna has given you mercifully. Then, if anyone is not crossing endless ocean of the birth and death, then he is Atmaghati, self-killer. 
to kill themselves is not so important. Against him may come. Come again. But those who will kill their bhakti, mood, oh, they are self-killer. Jat sradhos to puman. What is love? Na nirbinno nati sakta. Bhakti jo gasya siddhada. Yadrichya matkatha adau. Yad sadhas to yad puman. Very good, sir. Those who are not so much detached from world and having sadha in me, they are qualified to do bhakti. And those who are not detached uh, uh, detached fully, man no sadha in me, then they are like jnani, brahma jnani. And those who have not is still satisfied by uh, enjoying sense gratifications, they are karmi. By sadhusan they will be karma yogi, then jnan yogi, and in the end also he told, just sarva makti bhakti jovaina siddhati. What in tretaju, satyaju, dvapa, by job, gyan, karma, by knowledge is achieved, bhakti, by bhakti we can achieve all more than that also. So, you should one be, be one pointed to bhakti. Nakinchit sadho dhiro. Nakinchit sadho dhiro. So, you should, he told to Uddhav, you should follow. Also, he told a story of a Brahmin in the end who was detached from worldly desire and took sannyas and how tolerate she was. Without toleration you cannot enter in bhakti. Can you? You? So you should. Guruve Gora Chandra Radhika Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhakta Tadavakta Namona. So first of all I offer pranams to Gurudev, Chilani Sanyasis, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis. Continuing Uruv Sambhad, Krishna's final instructions to Uruv before he entered Nithidam. Then eleventh candle gives the history of Avanti Brahman. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very happy. He used to chant that verse again and again, describing what is real sannyas. So that Advanti Brahman, he was very, very wealthy, but he was also extremely miserly. He would not engage his wealth in the service of his mother and father, nor his children, nor guests, nor sadhus. So therefore, he accumulated a great amount of wealth, but he was most unpopular. Therefore, in due course of time, that wealth was stolen by others, by thieves, by taxmen, by his own children. Therefore he lamented, and out of, lament and out of his lamentation he developed renunciation, just like Pingala the prostitute. Therefore that Brahmana, he went and took sannyas. Therefore he was given his seva after he took sannyas, he went to beg from those persons who were, uh, who he cheated in his previous ashram. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita described that when he would go begging, some people would give him a donation of passing gas on him, or throwing passing urine on him, stealing his begging bowl, spitting on him. They would steal his danda, some would steal his mala, some would steal his asan, 
and they would abuse him in many ways. Oh, what type of bogus Baba you are! Who cannot fill his belly, therefore now he's taken Bhiksha, he's taken sannyasan, going door to door chanting, Radhe Sham, Radhe Sham. Therefore, and finally, in his full maturity of realization, as the Mahaprabhu said, if you want to do bhajan, then you have to be very, very tolerant, more than a tree, more humble than a blade of grass, who can give all respects to others, and who never demands respect from him. For oneself, that person can chant the holy name. But we are not like that. Therefore, someone gives us a bad name, someone gives us a slap, someone tells some rumor about us, then immediately we become very angry. But that power to tolerate, that is called bhajan. Therefore, that power is given by the mercy of Gurudev and the association of the Vaishnavas. Sakala saman koriti sakati deho nata jata jata. O Gurudev, O Vaishnav, please give me that grace by which I can tolerate. Therefore, that advantage, Brahman, despite being disrespected and insulted, still he did not give up the service of Mukunda. And he began chanting that song that is the song of the Advanti Brahman. But I'm so much fortunate I have not even learned one verse from that. But main one verse there described what is real sannyas. Therefore, many people, sannyas, five things are forbidden in Kali Yuga. In eating, offering flesh to the forefathers, impregnating the wife of your brother, sannyas, horse sacrifice and cow sacrifice. These five things are forbidden in Kali Yuga. Then many people, especially in Vrindavan, Babaji section, they say, Sannyas is forbidden in Kali Yuga. Why are they taking Sannyas? But this is not the real meaning. Sannyas cannot be, forget, be forbidden because in Kali Yuga, Swayam Bhagavan Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself directly took Sannyas. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's guru, Iswapuri, he was also near Sannyasi. Even Sankaracharya. Sankaracharya, he was also Sannyasi. Ramanuja, Madhvacharya, Vishnu, Swami, Nimba, Ditya, Nitya, Nandapu, Sarup, Damada, Mahaprabhu had nine main sannyasi associates. Therefore, how we can say, are they all acting against the injunction of the Vedas? Therefore, that type of sannyas means karma sannyas, that is forbidden. Karma sannyas means I follow Vanashram Dham, then I become old, then I take sannyas in order to beg and fill my stomach. Karma sannyas is forbidden in Kali Yuga, but Bhakti sannyas is not, forbi is not forbidden. Therefore, there are two types of sannyas which is accepted in Kali Yuga. One is Gyan sannyas, followed by the Ekadandi sannyasis of Sankaracharya, and secondly, the Tridandi sannyasis, that is the Vaishnav sannyasis. Therefore, Mahaprabhu, he very much appreciated the song of the Advanti Brahman, because that Advanti Brahman said that body, service to Mukunda by body, mind, and words, that is complete perfection, that is Paramatma Nishtam. Nishtarin Paramatma or Mukunda Sri Krishna. Therefore, Mahaprabhu became very happy when he established this verse. That is the real meaning of sannyas, means Tri Dandi. When Sri Nityananda Prabhu and Mahaprabhu were going towards Jagannath Puri, then Mahaprabhu became very sad when he saw the danda held by Mahaprabhu because Mahaprabhu was holding Ekadanda. Actually, only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has the authority to take Ekadanda because he is Bhagawan himself. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Brahmasmi, there is no fault at all. Therefore, the only real Ekadanda sannyasi in this world is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No one else has qualification for taking Ekadanda. But to give us that instruction, Nityananda saw that Danda, he took it off, Sri Jagannanda Pandit, and cursed, Oh, Danda, you are the cause of the suffering of the residents of Navadweep. Therefore, he smashed it on the ground and broke into three pieces. That pastime is very deep. Then Nityananda was showing in Kaluga. Uh, actually, at no time people should think that they are one with the Supreme Lord. That is signif signified by Ekadanda. But he said the real sannyas is Tri Danda, therefore. Sevya and Sevak means Bhagawan, the Supreme Lord, who is the enjoyer, the Jivatma, who is the enjoyed, and the act of serving. So, love the beloved and the act. between the individual soul and the Supreme Lord that is also eternal, who accepts the three things that is called actual sannyas. So Nichananda signified that he is Jagat Guru of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas by breaking the danda in three places. When Mahaprabhu came back, he said, what have you done? Who has broken my danda? Then Sri Nichananda said, 
who has made the danda, he has broken the danda. <laughs> then Mahaprabhu became sad. He said, don't you know the danda is not an ordinary thing? It is the abode of the th three, 33 billion demigods. Therefore Mahaprabhu, he chanted that verse again and again. Real sannyas doesn't mean carrying a piece of bamboo. Real sannyas means body, mind and word, the service of Krishna in the mood of the gopis. Go premananda. <laughs> Then Krishna told to Uddhav, one thing more I want to tell you, don't be attached to ladies, and ladies should not attach to any man. I'm telling a story, Upani, Upani, Upakhyan, that there was a very, big, very strong emperor, his name was Pururva. Very big Chakravarti Samrat means uh, one day he went to uh, do shikar, uh, uh, hunting, and the in the forest he saw a beautiful, most beautiful apsara from heaven, and. Her name was Urbashi. Hmm? He saw and at once attached. And then he told, O oh Devi, who are you? What are you doing here? I'm so much attached to you. Can you leave me with me? me? And then Urbashi, smiling, told, I was searching a very qualified and beautiful any person and by luck you have met me. I must be with you a, a very beautiful, a strong person like you. And then they returned back to kingdom and he was married with her. But that Urvashi told I will marry you and I will be, I will, will leave only a condition that I have two rams. rams and they are very dear to me like my life, like my one son. You will have to protect them. If you cannot protect them, I cannot leave. And one condition more, that I don't want to see you naked, any time. At any time means, not at the time of when they are both together. Ah. Then, one day, Indra told, Oh, where is Urbashi? Without Urbashi, oh, this heaven is like zero. Go and anyhow, by who country, bring Urbashi. Then any of the two dem demigods went there in the night when Urbashi and the Emperor Puru were on the bed and enjoying at that time. And they began to take away the two lamps. And they began to me, 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 me do it. <laughs> then Urbashi told, you are a very coward person. Even you cannot protect my two lamps, lamps. You cannot fight on me. Why I married you? A kapurush like me. I cannot live with you. Then, king, in the naked state, he ran away with his bow and arrow, and thus demigods ran away, giving up lamps. After that, he returned. Oh, now you are naked? I will not be with you. And at once, she left and going to Arubashi Lok. 
have early fired. Then King, in naked stage, began to follow and weep. Or was he, stay for a moment. You are my life and soul. I cannot live without you. Please, for a moment, you should speak with me. I am not satisfied yet. Oh, so be with me. But she ran away and she went to Urbashilo. He also followed her and went to heavenly plat in Urbashilo. And he was requesting, oh, you should return back. But she refused. She told that with me you cannot be happy forever. Hmm? To be entangled with a lady, it is what? Like a uh, heavy, dangerous. It is, uh, it is for the death of Atma. So don't be attached to me. You should return back to earth. Then, but he never returned, he went there. And when he went and she refused to return back, then by the mercy of Krishna, he was detached from the lady. What foolishness I am doing? This Urvasi has controlled my mind. She is cheating me. She has cheated me. So, now Krishna is so merciful that he has given me now this knowledge. I should give up. I should take Urvasi from my heart and thus I should return back and give my whole attention, whole energy to Krishna Sarvaya. And then he turned back and very soon he offered himself in the lotus feet of Krishna and he was liberated. So we should also learn, Uddha, you should learn. And after me you should teach others to be like that. Those who want Krishna Prem, they should always be allowed for this. Otherwise they are bhakti and everything will be spoiled. If you see any lady, you think like your mother, like your sister, like your daughter. And if ladies meeting to anyone, like father, like brother and like son, it will say, sometimes Maya is so strong, even Brahma, even Shankar, even Indra, Chandra were defeated by Maya. Vandi Haridas Thakur, Narnara and Rishi, they were not cheated by Maya. Rāramananda also. All the associates of Chaitanya Mahāprabhu like this, all Goswamis. So, after that, oh, you should not be here. You go to Badrikāsraṁ. And what I have told, told, tell Vidur, um, Maitre, he was present there when Krishna was giving all instructions, he should tell to Vidur. And you should also preach my mission. Be in what doing? Or take Balkal Bastra. Balkal Bastra means sir? And all kinds of attachment you should give. Whatever you have, some fruits from trees, from leaves and others you should take. And this river Ganges is not river. She is Bhagavati. Coming from my 
wash, feet wash. So you should see and take bath. Your all again influence and everything go away very soon. Then Uttav began to weep. He could not bear the separation of Krishna. Anyhow, he was detached from worldly things and worldly relatives. And then he obeyed Krishna, tearing eyes, he did three parikrama of Krishna, went to there. And in the meantime, Krishna told his relatives, all Jadubansi, we are saying so many uh, inauspicious things. Hmm? Oh, rain of water, um, blood is coming. So elephants, jackals and dogs are weeping. So many auspicious. We should not be here. At once we should go. And before this he told to Arjun. Oh, after seven days, ocean will and you should take my old relative with you to Indraprastha or Hastinapur. Arjun was there, <coughs> but not at the time of teachings this. Then Uttha went, weeping. After that, oh, Krishna thought, remembered, and he was sitting on the shade of any tree and keeping his one feet on another. And at that time, all Jadubansis did sacrifice, pleased by snow. They gave so many horses, cows and everything to Brahmins. But they took Mary, Mary means wine, a kind of... And they became mad and thinking he is my enemy, brother and brother, father and sons, all began to fight themselves. When <coughs> their bow, um, bow or arrow finished, then what to do? They were somewhat, they were sitting on chariot, elephant, even a man to man, and all were fighting. <laughs> Baldev came and told that why you are fighting? And Krishna also. But they attacked Krishna and Baldev. Then Krishna and Baldev also began to tell, take that <coughs> arena grass, and they killed those who were saved. Whole dynasty was finished. Then Krishna was sitting there and a hunter came and he thought that, oh, this is the mouth of any deer and he suited. And then he ran to, to cast that deer. When he saw that, oh, Krishna, and began to lament and cry. Then Krishna told, don't be worried. I, you have done what I wanted. You should go to Swarg heaven, and there you should be. And after that, all demigods came there. And they saw that Krishna is sitting, closing his eyes. And in a second, Brahma, Shankara and all others saw Krishna with his eternal body, transcendental body. In a second, like thunderbolt, he at once went to his dham. Anyone cannot <coughs> saw that how he went. And then flowers from a god. And Heavenly drums were beaten and all became happy and thus all returned. Here one thing, 
you know that we think that Vasudeva, Shankarshan, Pradim and Anurudh, they are for Chatur Bhuha, like God. Hmm? They are part of fraction of manifestation of Krishna. Vishnu Tattva. How they fight Vishnu Tattva and kill each other? <coughs> Shamba, Gada, <coughs> all were associates of Krishna. They have so much knowledge, everything. How they can fight and kill each other. So, in Bhagavat has written like a mi uh, music, magic person. And Vishwanath Chakvarti Thakur has explained that a, <coughs> there was a magician. He has one very beautiful young wife and two children of eight, nine years age. One day they went to royal palace and told that we want to show a very wonderful play, magic show. Then all the councils of king and queen and others gathered there and they began to see what they are doing. Oh, at once they take, took a rope on a two bamboos did like so. And then the lady, young lady, he took jar on his head, one, two, three colors, and he, by the rope, he, he went on the rope and he began to dance there with a stick in bamboo in his, her hands. So wonderful. All began to clap and very happy. Then when she came down, then Queen gave him no luck, a necklace. His price was nine lakhs rupees at that time. Very beautiful and costly. Then when Queen gave, then two boys, sons, Oh, mother, give me, give me. He was telling, oh, give me. And he was telling, quarreling. And the lady, mother, took out of that. And they began to, both were equal strong. Then anyone could not take, then one took sword from his men. And other also. And at a time he cut his head and he had. Oh, then young lady began to be, oh, my two sons have gone. And he, she came and took one sword and cut herself. Oh, then you said, oh, without my children and wife, how I can be? And he also cut. Then whole council, queen and king, all they were thinking, what terrible thing. <laughs> oh, they began to lament. And then they left that place and the place was cleared and they went back to their home, uh, palace. Next day a letter came. From whom this letter came? That magician. He wrote in letter, Oh, my obeisance says to you, O king and queen, first show we sold, and the prize was given by you that we have still. And second so what we saw, you could not have given anything. We are all alive. <laughs> you should come, your necklace is also in the neck of my wife and two boys very well. 
Oh, they became very wondered. Eh? What? And next day they went there and they saw four were coming with garland to <laughs> and the O king, O queen, varies by price. <laughs> then king and queen became very happy and they gave him. If a magician can do like this, and which magician of magician Anadi Ananta, uh, magician by whose my Maya he has created this world, that world, everything, what he cannot do? Hmm? Also I have seen in Mathura <coughs> that a magician came and in our front in Dantya Park, oh, he invited DSP, SP, police, commissioner and district magistrates and some showmen and very, very uh, rich and other persons there. And he began to show his magic. He took his son and covered it with a cloth and he took a sword and under cloth he put his hand and began to cut the neck of his son. And really he, he was separated with her son, head and body. And then he told to district magistrate, you should take uh, and give him it in a box very strong. And you should lock it. One lock, two lock were there. And then he told, Oh, my dear son, oh, my dear son, come on, come on, come on. And he is smiling and running from outside. He came. <laughs> and he came. How magic. Also, once in Calcutta, Bishi Roy, Vian Sarkar, world famous. Uh, he was invited by the governor of Bengal and all high classes of officers were there. Some was, time was given that at 4 p.m. performance will begin. So at that time all should come. So at just a time before all were seated there and waiting for magician. They saw half an hour pass, one hour pass, his dummy coming. Oh, when he will come, we will punish him and become very angry. And that after that, taking metal nut in mouth, smiling, the magician came. Then they become very furious and told, why you become so late? One hour? Oh, I have not become late. You see your sir, what see you they all saw that it is for. <laughs> <laughs> so a magician can do, and greatest magician in the whole world, what he cannot do. So anyone was not killed. There was actually no battle. All were associated with Krishna. Krishna collected them and with all he went to Guru Vrindavan. Those who were from heavenly planet, they went to. And those who came from Baikuntha, Baikuntha. And those who came from Braja, they came with them. Gaur Premar. <laughs> This Bhagavad Puran <laughs> uh, explained very well. Hmm. Nothing left in brief. We have told all these things. I am happy that you are hearing presently, and I think that you must take all instruction and follow our head. Krishna pray your life. Hmm. Now, Nirgun Prabhu may come.
and those who have health Nanda Gopal Prabhu, I want that paper which I to request you. Oh, Brijana. What you Oh, I saw Just do one from memory then. Not this one. It's not so brief. For you, Gurdiv. If I offer my heart on a tray of gold, like a flower or lamp, you will accept, I am told, and never return it to follow a dead end road. You will offer my heart to that couple divine, where it can beat to the sound of Sham's flute and the footsteps of gopis dancing around. If I offer my heart on a tray of gold, cast in prayer, will you see a sprout of sincerity there? And water that tiny creeper with words flowing with the praying of divine love, and you're knowing everything I need to feed my soul. I'm lost in the hole of my misdirected mind. Will you find me when I am far from your lotus bud feet? Drop a rope of a hundred and eight beads into the well where I fell and remind me to clasp hold. Dancing fingers, dancing tongue, dancing with you into Vrindavan, following the mystic attraction of his flute, feeling Radha's love so pure, final cure of my disease. So intense, the blue-hued boy is entranced and mystified to melt my heart, to cry and cry. Thank you. Gurne Gore Chandraya, Radhikaya, Tadalaya, Krishnaya, Krishna Bhaktaya, Tala Bhaktaya, Namun Maha. First of all, I offer my humble obeisances to Srila Gurudev, all the sannyasis, all devotees, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, and we'd like to thank you for coming and making the 12th annual uh, Badger Festival very wonderful and very special. We've heard very, very many deep and wonderful things, including just now the story of the magician and how they can do so much magic. But we are seeing a magic that is much greater. This magic is taking the conditioned souls, softening their hearts, and making them eternally attracted to the, our Supreme East today. This is, I think, the greatest magic. Nobody, nobody can perform this magic except one who is the supreme magician, one who has it, one who has come from the spiritual world. So we cannot repay. It's a very wonderful thing. Um, here, uh, I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I got a couple pages of devotees who have, have done so much service here and we want to give recognition to them. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get through these two pages and uh, I would like to say uh, if you're 
all of you have done by coming. I think everyone has served in so many ways. The sannyasis have preached and given us their association. So, please bear with me through all this. First, we'd like to give thanks to Srila Gurudev and his party and all sannyasis. And we also have, uh, uh, there are so many uh, services that people have performed. And uh, forgive me if I don't, if you've done, and I have not included you. Uh, doing the, one of the more surrendered services, of course, is cleaning the toilets and taking out the trash. And uh, Bharata Prabhu and his crew would like to give special thanks to them, which, which include Matreya Muni, Jagani Bas, Bora Prana, Devananda, Radha Vinodini, who can believe persons like this are, who, are, who are, have been very sick and are now doing all these services. It's hard to believe. Uh, Vardhamya Dasi, uh, La, what's that? Vardhamya Das, uh, Latika, and Hari Motini. Okay. Next we have uh, washing all the dishes. Uh, Mon Mohan from Hawaii. Nar Narotan, Sridas, Nanda Kishore, Damodar, Tri Loka, Aniruddha, Gopabalava, Sarada, and Chandramukhi. Enormous boga runs like never before. Mahi Bhart, Goloka, Sudarshan, Kamalakanta. By the way, Kamalakanta has kept this, uh, all these grounds. He's come uh, months early, has taken my place, and he is uh, uh, doing uh, so much wonderful gardens and work before the festival. Special thanks to him. And as Gurudev has mentioned earlier, the cooks in the kitchen. And I want to inform you that sometimes the kitchen is very hot. The, as you all know, the heat through the tarps. They stand there all through the day. Such a wonderful service, such a surrender. And we want to give special thanks to Man Mohan. Tirtha Maharaj. Damaraj. Bhishma. Sudarshan. Pran Govinda. Radhanath. Haripad, Shaima Priya, Anupama, Gokula, Shamala, Radha Priya, Jai Rishi. And Shravan Kumar? Shravan and Alita. Without Shravan Kumar, anything was not to be done. And Nilachala. Nilachala. And the kitchen crew. In the end, Nirgun Prabhu. I want to tell you something in, in, in truth. In actuality, I, I, I can't hold a candle to these devotees. They're doing ten times the amount of service I'm doing, and, and it, it's just a wonderful thing. So, in the kitchen crew, Vrindavan Prabhu, Vishaka Didi, Sita Didi, Champakalata, Gorhari, and all who help with the cutout. Servers, uh, Dachai, Kam Kamala Kanta, Rasika, Jayade, Hari Balava, and Janavi. Uh, the festival setup crew, Gopa Balava, Kamala Kanta, Nityananda, Giridari, Prem Pradeep, Madhukar, Damodar, and all the boys from the school. Jamada, Radha, Rajendra Nandan, Gopa Nandini, Kishori, cool lifeguard who has sat out in the sun, uh, like permanently out there. <laughs> Raghunath Peru. Kirtaniyas, Kishori Mohan, Raj Mohan, Gopapa. Special, special donations for a feast last night. Raghunath Prabhu donated the feast. And for festival special donations, Stavya Prabhu from Canada. And uh, 
Jaga Provoka has donated all new tarps this year. Uh, for Jendra Nandan's family. Uh, Nanda Gopal's family and Mohini Dasi for arranging accommodations for the devotees. Pran Kishore. What's his name? There is an Indian restaurant owner from San Francisco. Sunandar. Surrender. Surrender. Ah. <laughs> he is, he is uh, going to pay for the entire festival feast. <laughs> yes, we are sending them to him. <laughs> uh, let's see where it is. All the devotees who put on the transcendental plays. Uh, over at the book table, I, I, I didn't mention all the names of Nan, Nanagopal's family, but there's Raga, there's Mohini, and there's Govit. I can't remember all their names. But... <laughs> Thank you so much. The book table, Radha Dasi, Ram Kanta Prabhu, Vrindavan and his sisters, Vishwambar Prabhu, Prasharam table, Nitya Manjari, Kishore, Narada, Madan, and all the Guru Kuru Helpers. So we tried our best, and I hope I didn't forget anybody. <laughs> I hope we can have these transcendental festivals year after year, and uh, by Guru's grace, they still allowed me to come and do some service, and for that I'm very grateful. One thing more, <coughs> I am inviting all for Brajamandal Parikrama. In, in October, November. And also I am inviting you all for Naudhi Parikrama in perhaps March. So, if no economic anything problem, otherwise you should all come and very good festival like this will be there. And if you have economic problem, then distribute books. And number one, number two, number three, get a free ticket to Kartik. Mahamantra. One more thing. Tomorrow, breaking fast, Paran will be one minute after eight o'clock in the morning. Up till 9.30. Between? Sorry, it's 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. No, no. 9 o'clock breaking, Farhan? Yeah. 9 or 8.01? 9 9.01 breaking fast. Okay. Up to? 10.30. Okay. Hare Krishna.